Hi, welcome to Lunar Moxie Tarot and Astrology. I'm the Benevolent Rebel, and I'm going to pull a tutelary tale for you tonight on a main mail. We haven't done it in a while. I've been very busy um, doing a, another series for you guys, okay, on um, Venus's transit of Cancer, okay, which also corresponds to the Uranus-Mars North Node conjunction. It's, it's a pretty big deal. I'm just saying it's a pretty big deal. It's one of the biggest, it's one of the biggest um, astrology events of the year, I'd say. Um, needless to say, since Venus rules Taurus, um, I did a special on Venus as well. Um, that has all posted, except that I missed Gemini. I don't know how, and I filmed it today. I know how. I filmed them in the beginning, and then I decided to make it much more detailed and junked the first four I did to make it a lot more detailed for you guys because it's a big deal transit um, for those that it impacts. Anyway, um, Gemini is loading right now, so that'll be done. We're gonna pull in a main mail today, okay? Um, I It's whatever, whatever comes out, whatever the universe or spirit gives us, okay? Um, I'm gonna start with the Kipper. Uh, I'm gonna pull oracles, I'm gonna pull tarot. I'm probably gonna use Lenormand, okay? I hope you guys are doing great. Uh, tell me about this main mail that we need to know about. Tell me about the main mail we need to know about. I'm going to do a cross and then I'm going to box it in. I'll call them out as soon as I'm done. Tell me about the main mail. We have um, expectation on this main male's mind. So his, his thoughts are um, busy with expectations of certain things. And directly underneath him we have change. That's a big change. That's a big life change. So he's he's definitely undergone a change. I feel like it's more recent because it's it's directly underneath him. noise it's my crazy cat <laughs> she's a Taurus and she's like she's going crazy with the um oh he's looking at a main female holy shit I got this last time with a female and I never ever in the kipper the very first two times I've ever pulled with them looking at each other which is a very big deal in kipper a very big deal for them to be next to each other and looking at each other because that means she um He's in her for future and um, she is in his. Needless to say, this main male has um, some love ahead of him, okay? Um, or she could be something else, but typically it's a love relationship. I, I'm going to put these back in because they came out together and I, I can only take one. It was success and love and a meeting. Tesla. No, no. I'm telling you, this cat's been crazy. crazy. Um, it's like all of a sudden she's after the cords, which she's never done. Right? Yeah. Her nerves are a little frayed from the conjunction. <laughs> oh my god. Hold on. Give me this. Give me this. Give me... No. Can I have my cart? Um, her, like, favorite toy broke, so... I'll be ordering more later tonight. Um, and I've tried everything. I've tried like newspaper. Look at that. That'll work temporarily. Um, anyways, we have the good lady um, to his back. So I feel as if his mother is still alive and in the background. Or some other lady that's older. Okay? That was important to him. That's good. Or that's a good, he's close with her. Could be deceased. We'll see. We have a small child at the top, so there's a small child on his mind, or the birth of a new project with expectation up there. It could also be the birth of a new project 
or business or something of this sort, okay, that he's diligently working on or thinking about right now. I'm going to ask her what she's thinking about. We have a funeral on his mind right now. So he's thinking of the loss of something or the end of something in his life. He may be concerned about the death of his mother if she's elderly. He may be concerned even if she's alive about her passing away or her like aging. We have a rich man underneath him. So there was some occurrence with a rich man in his past that's of rather significance to now. And then this change is right after the rich man. Okay. We have the good Lord at the bottom. Unexpected money, murky thoughts, and legal matters, and short illness. Um, there is grief and sorrow right next to this change. I don't like the way it's situated because the change goes directly into the grief and sorrow and it's right after the rich man. So I'm not sure if something happened with this rich man that threw off his life and led to this change, but it could be. Um, it go, it's because it goes right into grief and sorrow or it could be the loss of his father. If his father was a wealthy man and he was still grieving the loss, could be. I'm gonna pull some Lenormans. And then we're going to pull some tarot. I'm also going to pull some astrology cards. Give me a small child. We have the fox on the small child. So um, I'm getting this feeling that it is um, some business arrangement or scheme he's like conjuring up. If it's not an actual child, then if it is an actual child, I'm getting there's something. If the child's older, there's something very like smart and cunning about the child or that um, or that it's possible that this child was like something about the birth of the child or the pregnancy or something was, was, was not expected or something to it or he resented it or something of this sort. On the funeral we get the tower. So there's an ending to something with bureaucracy, okay, or legal matters or something to do with red tape here I'm getting or whatever has died, yeah. And on this expectation, I'm getting the stork, so this could be an actual child, but the stork could also refer to a business, but it's very odd to get the fox with the child. Um, give me this rich man. On the rich man, I get the ring in reverse. It's odd. Um, There's some sort of contract here with this rich man in his past having to do with the law or legalities or pre or post nups or an actual ring if this is his father, maybe his father and his mother split. I don't usually read Lenormand's in reverse, but it came out in reverse, so um, I'll leave it there like that because I usually check these to make sure they're not in reverse. And I've never had a pull quite like that. that's quite odd. Um, give me this change. There's something quite odd about this. On the change, I have a lady now. So now I have a rich man, a change, a lady to do with the change, and a ring in reverse. These are things that he's achieved or has already happened in the past. When you get the change, it's a major change. What's this grief and sorrow? What's this grief and sorrow? The tree. There's something that's giving him, and the fish is at the bottom, um, a lot of heartache about his roots. Like he feels 
unrooted. Like he has no, um, like he's missing support. Okay? Could be from a loss of um, family or friendship or something. Could have to do with this man and this ring and this change in this lady. But he feels unrooted somehow right now, attached to his grief and sorrow. He may be having issues with his friends or his family unit, all right? Or just feeling rooted at this time. He doesn't feel rooted. That's what I'm getting. Um, tell me about this main female. I have the birds around this main female. Um, he's looking at her and she's looking at him. So it's somebody significant to him that is, he already knows or, it is, or is in his future. But with the birds here, the whip is falling out. Um, with the birds here, tell me about this good lady. With the birds here, there's either something that he's bringing back to the nest or a lot of issues around home or he wants to bring her to his home or there's a lot of gossip in regards to their relationship. Could be. Give me this good lady. Okay. I get the heart on the good lady. I feel like this is his mother and he loves her a great deal. Give me one on this main male. I get the gentleman on the main male. Perfect. Perfect, because I usually don't ask about the one in the middle. And I was like, should I ask? I was like, I'll ask. How should I ask? Hmm. And I was like, I'll just ask. Because so I was like, should I ask about something going on in his life? I usually do that with other stuff. <laughs> Gave me the gentleman. So we have a gentleman who's a gentleman perhaps, and a lady underneath um, dealing with a large change in his life. However, something that happened here is off. He's possibly worried about being alone or being stuck in a tower if someone dies or if something ends or his mind is just stuck thinking about an ending and he's trapped in like a loop in his mind in this tower over endings in his life of various sorts. Could be ruminating on an ending now of some sort or another. Let's see here. I'm going to pull one of these real quick. getting something weird about this fox and this kid um, this he has big expectation and again there's like some new beginning or some new project that he's working on maybe a secretive project and that may be it but if he does have a secretive project or secret plans here that he's like incubating in his mind they're very secretive and there's something about them that he has to do sly like a flop fox Okay, but it's a big deal because I have on great expectation I have the stork. Give me one of the lady. On this lady we get grace. Give me one on the man. On the man I get the wolf. Okay, so, I, I mean, you know, there's something here. <laughs> Give me one on this rich man. There's something very strange here. Um, I mean, I love wolves. But especially if... I've never pulled that card before. Give me one on the rich man. Especially if... Give me one on the rich man. Especially if he is um, a wolf. Wolves run in packs. So if he has his pack disturbed, that could cause a lot of grief and sorrow. Or who he deems to be a part of his pack. And I feel like something 
has disturbed his pack. And I'm getting the lion. Possibly somebody with Leo in them. Lion and a wolf, lion and a wolf. You don't really see them in the same place. And look at what's at the bottom, the awakener. And there's an owl there with the lion. And the lion's watching the owl. I feel as if something weird happened here. Very, very strange happened here. Hold on. I mean, they don't, wolves and lions don't live in the same place, but I feel like even though this um, gentleman is probably very particularly strong, there's been some ending here in his life, and it may have been caused by this rich man. Something got messed up here. Um, and I don't think the wolf expected to meet the lion in the woods. It's just what I'm getting. Especially if he was without his pack. He may have been deceived by this rich man. Whatever is on his mind now, it's like, it says dreamer. So he's definitely got big dreams. I mean, I have great expectations. Stork. Sometimes great expectation can have to do with psychic gifts of one sort or another. It's kind of like big hope sometimes. Or clear, clear, clear essence, I believe, you know. Um, a knowing. So if he does have that, then it might be that he's like a powerful magician as well. That can kind of dream things into being, manifest. He's a, he might be a very good manifester. Not to say he doesn't do the, you know, work to manifest the thing, but spends a lot of, he might spend a lot of time manifesting what he wants bef before he takes action with the fox. I'm, get, I'm pulling transits here, so I feel like the transits, especially the ones I just did a um, series special on, all right, um, Venus transit cancer, as well as... Um, this huge conjunction that's going to make a grand square in the sky are very, very critical, okay, for this man right now, for this gentleman. Okay, I feel as if he's probably going to have some major impact. Pisces, I'm getting Pisces. Conjunction. Um, Neptune is in Pisces right now. He also could have conjunctions with this lady or this lady down here if they're not the same one or this gentleman of some sort or another that are like the transits in conjunction with Pisces that he has, something to this effect, Saturn, are going to like be bothering him somehow here right now. There's something here. He may, he may be like suffering under a Saturn transit and Saturn transits that are heavy can make you depressed. They can just have that effect, um, especially if they make, you know, hard aspects and um, there will be an aspect between Neptune and Pisces, okay? Um, between Neptune and um, Neptune... Neptune and Pluto are, are sextile and Saturn is right in the middle of them, really gumming up like... The beauty of Neptune with Pluto. Um, okay, furthermore, he could, you know, just be suffering the effects of a transit and something in his own chart, Jupiter, that's the ruler of Pisces. There's something here. Jupiter with Saturn, if it's, if it's like misplaced, can make something a lot bigger than it is. Like the problem can grow whatever that problem is. If it's depression and he's under like a transit that's causing by Saturn that's causing a larger depression due to other things that have happened to him, especially if he has a Pisces moon or a Pisces, I'm getting, you know, or, or a Pisces rising or a Pisces sun, he can be very sensitive. North node. So I feel like he's thinking about the future. Whatever he's incubating right now has his thoughts on this new project, but for some reason he has to do it slyly. Virgo. There may you one or one or both these people or all, you know, one or three of these people may have Virgo or Pisces 
All right, Jupiter and Saturn right now are very important here in the story and the North Node pointing path, like the compass to the future here. Mercury is at the bottom. Mercury is involved in that um, finger of God that's formed in the sky, hmm. which can make it very difficult because it's like there's something you need to do, but it's like... There's two parts of the aspect that are having a hard time reconciling with themselves. So you keep getting stuck and you're unable to like move on something you need to do. Mercury is the one in the middle of, at the apex and Saturn is like an additional thing you don't even need there. And then it's there just making it worse, making everything worse with it. Um, let me take this smaller deck here. Give me, why, why, why is this ring here? What's this about? He is going towards a lady. I'm not sure if it's the same one, but he's got his eyes on her. His mother is in the background behind him. Oh. Give me another one on this ring. Give me one more. He may have been in a same sex relationship at one point or another, or there's something here with this ring. I have the Father of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. And the ring is in reverse. Give me, give me one on this. Um, give, me, give me something on this lady and this change down here. It's like he turned his back on this man and went towards change, but that change led him into sorrow, and I'm getting the lovers on the lady. Some sort of choice. The mother of Pentacles is behind that. Give me more on this lady. There's some sort of blocking here with this ring and this father of cups. It's like maybe some contract with this rich man or some something here blocked love. Father of cups. Six of pentacles and the seven of wands. And now I'm getting the five of wands on that when I'm talking about it. Some sort of competition. Caddy behavior, something here multiple parties involved. What's this, um, give me on this lady in this change. I feel as if Father of Pentacles in reverse, Three of Wands on this lady. If somebody was waiting on this lady the lovers, the father of pentacles in reverse, and the three of wands in reverse. Or this lady stopped waiting on him or him, her, or something here. But if this father of pentacles is in reverse, it's a very materialistic person. He may have made the wrong choice in love with the lovers here. On this lady and this change. It drove him right into grief and sorrow. And the tree is here. So he may have made a choice about, based on what somebody else wanted with the tree here and this change he may have done what other people wanted rather than what he wanted what is this um, why is the lovers here and I saw a mother of Pentacles too so he may have gotten married he may have made a choice to get married to somebody 
a lady and it drove him into grief and sorrow and it may have been a family based relationship either due to children or a child or due to what his other family members or friends networks wanted him to do oh my god that's like anybody in that position right now is like prime for this transit um give me the tree it's like the universe is going to shake the sugar tree here on that oh yeah he's discontent four cups wrong choice give me another oh no would a wolf be scared of a lion if a wolf thought that he didn't have his pack he might be scared of a lion I think if a wolf had his pack he wouldn't be scared of a lion but if he's lost his pack or he feels like this man this lion is in the same if, they, if he feels like this this man has similar interest as his family then he doesn't have his pack to stand with him against the lion give me another one yeah on the tree and the grief and sorrow I get the four of cups temperance and the three of swords he made some sort of choice here why is the lovers here okay and it, he made some choices here he may, may have made some choices in business and in love okay that wound up being the wrong choice and it drove him right into grief and sorrow here all right we have temperance here on grief and sorrow that's good because it's like angel protection because grief and sorrow can indicate too much drinking too much drugging especially if you're depressed under a Saturn transit anyway um, or any other chemical imbalance um, or health condition but this looks directly tied to something that happened it looks like situational depression in other words but it's a big deal He has temperance here, so he, he is trying to temper himself somewhat in his grief and sorrow, or he has like some sort of divine protection right now during his time of grief and sorrow. Why is the Three of Swords here? Wheel of Fortune in reverse, the High Priestess in reverse, and the Six of Cups. He may have lost out on a Pisces, and we already have Pisces here. His intuition was off. He feels like the he made the wrong choice he made a choice that wasn't in line with the fates though so he might be able to fix it because the wheel of fortune is in reverse that's usually bad fortune not on the right side of the wheel karma saturn fixed signs on the wheel of fortune too number 10 we also have the six of cups here he may have lost that on a soul tie or he didn't trust his own intuition on what he was going to do here on something big. Why is, um, why is the lovers down here? The sun, the eight of pentacles and the four of wands, shit. He may have made a decision to get married, or he was trying to make a decision about which relationship he should work on, which thing he should work on, or if he should choose work over love. And he made a choice for either work over love, which wound up being the wrong choice, or he made a choice um, to work on a marriage or relationship that wound up being the wrong choice. But he wants to make a different decision now here. Something's up. What is it? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? The Ace of Pentacles, the Star, Aquarian Energy, and the Father of Swords. Something here. He may have taken money from this rich man or something shady here went on. With a contract or something here why is the father of cups here the 
Ace of Pentacles is like a brand new start, I'll offer a new job opportunity, something here. Star and the Father of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarian energy. When you get the Father of Swords with the uh, star, he's either got a sun, Aquarius, moon, or rising, more than likely. What is this? Um, or he thought he was going to get fame. Or, or like a lot of like um, referrals or a lot of acclaim for taking something from this rich man or getting into a contract with this rich man. I just don't understand why the contract's over a ring or a marriage. The contract or the work is over a ring or a marriage. Here, something weird here. What's this? Um, why is the Father of Cups here? He took some Ten of Cups, Two of Pentacles, and the Mother of Wands. Um, so, our guy, our guy may have fallen in love with somebody who used to be with this rich man. Okay? Or his mother might be a mother of wands and she was married to this rich man. Or our gentleman here, our mean male, who likely has Pisces and maybe Aquarius in his chart, or Scorpio and Cancer, Father of Cups, had some sort of weird dealings here with this rich man. Okay? And on the Father of Cups, I get the Ten of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, that's a choice about what? The mother of wands. He had a choice about his ultimate happiness here, our happy home, happy life. That's the best you can get in everyday happiness in the deck. So he had a lot of love for somebody, but he either juggled them or made a choice about work in regard or in regards to a mother of wands that may have been involved with this rich man. What is this, um, what is this Seven of Wands here for? What is this Seven of Wands here for? But there's a block here. What is this? What's this Seven of Wands? Nine of Pentacles, the Hangman, and the Daughter of Pentacles in reverse. There's something hidden here or blocked out in regards to independence. Something here about blocking somebody's independence here. Leaving somebody waiting. Delaying news about something. Daughter of Pentacles in reverse or taking something of tangible value from somebody. Daughter of Pentacles in reverse. Could have been a ring or something to do with something here with give and take. Like maybe this, you know, if, if this is his father, maybe he didn't give to the mother properly or their marriage was out of sorts or not happy. If this is the son. Crap, I don't know where I lost you. Um, we had gotten on this Seven of Wands, which I asked on the Seven of Wands. We've got the Nine of Pentacles, the Hangman, and uh, so... Um, we have something here with this. Give me um, something on this lion. Why is he a lion? Why is this rich man a lion? This rich man may um, be looked at as like some sort of powerful person in the community. Or like he can rip you up or something like that. Why is this, why is this rich man the lion to our main male? No, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Do you want to sit on me, Tesla? Good girl. Good girl. Why is this rich man a lion to our main male? I feel like he's threatened him or like, oh, <gasps> listen, you little lion. We need to stay right here, okay? See right here? 
I feel like he's threatened him somehow or roared at him. Somehow he's got him in a bind and then he ran. He ran to grief and sorrow and made a big change. This is something here. Hold on. Tesla. Look at what you did here. Why is the lion here? Why is he a lion to our main male? Our main male is no like idiot. I mean, he's a freaking wolf. But if he feels like he doesn't have the backing of his pack, will you listen? Listen. <laughs> That could be a big problem. You going to stop. She's going to do it again. I can tell she's going to do it again. Yeah, go up over there. Go up over there. You can go over there. Oh, just stay over there. Why is the lion here? This may also be something that's happening in August with the lion being here or over this transit where he may be threatening to roar at him or attack him in August somehow. You can lay. You want me to... Here, good girl. You can lay. Good girl. Is that better? You down. Um, the lovers. And the lovers is over here on the lady. I think this lady used to be with this guy. But this guy worked for this guy. Or something weird. Something weird happened here. What is this lion here for? Or he had an affair with this rich man, could be. I'm not getting that. I'm, getting, I'm not getting a lot of cups. I'm getting this father of cups, which goes back to a mother of wands, not to this guy. <sighs> he feels defensive about some choice. Feels like he lost. Like he's not ready to fight another day on this choice here. Why is the lovers here? No. Give me one more on this lion. This guy made him feel, um, he's got his walls down. Like it's a nine of, it's the lovers and then the nine of rods in reverse. So this lion has him in a corner. Like in other words, he can't go fight because he has no armor. He has no shield or this guy has something on him. The high priestess. Piscean energy. We also have Gemini energy here. Sun, moon, or rising. It's a secret. He's got a secret on him. He's got a secret on him. What is this high priestess here for? Something about the choices he made over here, which led to the big change, and something to do with this ring and this breakup is a fuck up. It was a fuck up. It had to do with work. It blocked him from the sun. Either either there's a father of pentacles or a cat, another Capricorn or possibly Aquarius involved. Sun, moon, or rising with Saturn here could be. Why is the high priestess here? But the north node's here and the transits are implicated, as well as conjunctions. So there's about to be some big fucking change or some big explosion here on this shit. Um, what is this high priestess here for? The moon in reverse, the hierophant in reverse, the emperor. Ah, uh, this is a freaking shit show. Again, this high priestess, Piscean or Cancer are involved here. Paraphant is Taurus, but it's also about hierarchy. It's also about God. So is the High Priestess. They're a divine match. The moon's in between them, though, so there could be secrets. But there's a boss or an emperor involved. Emperor. Oh my god, I just got so many major arcana on that that it, like, give me some more. Now I gotta pull on those. Hold on, this is a shit show. This is definitely falling under my special series on a saga. I mean, I'll post it under the Tutelary Tales playlist and then 
Maybe link it on that one too, because this is for sure. I was like, I should ask for something that's going on now, and it's exactly what I get. <laughs> it's like exactly what I get. Oh my God. Um, what is this? Okay, so the high priestess and the moon, there could be something to do with fertility here or a secret. I think it's just a secret, especially with the nine of rods in reverse and something about the choice he made with the lovers here. That was a bad choice. He's got something on him. What does he have on him? A secret. Maybe about somebody with Pisces in their chart. Maybe. If that's what this lady is. And Pisces did pop over here. So did Virgo. What is this? Um, but there's some secret, or there's a secret from the High Priestess about this Emperor and this Hierophant. Could be. Oh, geez. Why is the... Um, why is that? I haven't got any any easy readings in the past week, none. And it's really been going since the Capricorn moon. They're like very detailed and long and crazy. What is this? Um, why is the hair font here? <sighs> Page of rods. Page of pentacles in reverse. And the hermit in reverse. Either there's a secret child or, again, there was something with money because we had a page of pentacles over here. We had a page of pentacles right here, daughter of pentacles, on this um, something he did here to leave somebody in a state of hanging or waiting or, or, or block somebody out or something here. And now I have the Hermit in reverse. Again, that's like a secret card, a non-talking card. I have three non-talking cards, High Priestess, Moon, and the Hermit. Like, why is it, we, we, we have, we, we ha may have somebody with Aries in their chart, may have somebody with Taurus in their chart, Cancer, Pisces, Virgo, which we have Virgo over here too. Why is, um, but there's something here about hierarchy or a job or business or something here, or God might be blocking something here. I mean, you can't just mess with stuff like this and then I've got so many major arcanas on this. Okay. Why is the hermit here in reverse? Why is the hermit here? There's something here with money. He took money. There was news to a pentacles. He was juggling or made a decision about money. Trying to keep balls in the air about something. And it's a decision, and it could have had to do with work or money here. Why is the hermit here in reverse? Judgment. Temperance. Can I get some more major arcana, please? Just the major arcana, just the 26 major arcana out of the 78 card deck because all that's coming out on this shit is Major Arcana. So this is some mega shit here, okay? I think I got like two pages and that's it. Somebody was delivering news. He made a, made a decision to deliver news and there was judgment is in reverse. He lamented too long about his decision or he made a bad choice. He made a very bad choice. There's a bad choice or decision. He's got some bad shit on him here, some way or another. What's this, why is the emperor here? Seven of Rods, the Empress, the Empress and the Emperor. Somebody's trying to keep these two apart, the Empress and the Emperor. The Seven of Wands is in between them. We have a divine pair here. I feel like I had a reading today where the where this happened. It was today or yesterday. It was yesterday. It wasn't in Gemini, I don't think. Or it might have been in Gemini. It was the Emperor with the freaking Seven of Rods, which I think the Seven of Rods was exactly in between with the Empress. And now the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody is blocking the Emperor and the Empress from being together. Temperance, Judgment, Two of Pentacles. There was a bad decision here. I had a Nine of Pentacles over here. That's pre-Empress energy, Virgo energy.
Let me go over here. Why is our guy a wolf? There's some marriage here. Our guy may or may not be married to somebody else, I don't know. Or something here that he did for this rich man that may have had a breakup with this lady is now screwed something up. The Father of Pentacles is usually very, very loyal, but in the reverse, very materialistic. We'll do shoddy business deals. If he's not in his right mind when he makes decisions. Why is the wolf here? Whatever it is, it's like he's dreaming about change now. But he's also like keeps thinking about this ending. And he's like stuck in this tower. That's like red tape, bureaucracy, the law, government, restraints. The empress, over the empress. He feels like he can't get to the empress. But he has big expectations about some new beginning. Oh my god. Two of Pentacles. It's about a choice he made. Spirit is like blocking me from getting information on this. Like literally part of it is secret. And like I have the Hierophant here. That's either the law and bureaucracy or hierarchy at work but usually in bureaucracy or a Taurus. There's just, I, I just, I got like four secret cards on this one question. Four. And a high priest and a high priestess. Give me this wolf. Give me this wolf. Death. Nine of wands. Five of Wands, it's like the competition. He's transforming. He's like going through a transformation about competition and about whether he's able to battle or not. He's transforming from his Nine of Wands and that Nine of Wands was over here in the reverse, like the lion had him in reverse. But over here, it's transforming with death, scorpionic energy. Six of Pentacles and the give and take something here. Something here is changing. I feel like it's up here, whatever he's thinking about. Let's go up here. What is this um, stork and the great expectation? Isn't that a movie? I mean, it's a book, but it's also a movie, an old one. It was like, it was very weird. I think Ethan Hawke and Gwyneth Paltrow were in it. And um, what's her name from The Graduate? Ten of Wands. Okay. He is like thinking about doing some big ass thing here. A lot of weight on his shoulders about these great expectations and the um, stork, whatever it is, it's a lot of wands to carry alone to the castle, but it's for a good cause. But it can also break your back if it like winds up in reverse or you don't delegate some of the tasks. It's mutable fire energy and we have temperance appearing here at least twice. So this gentleman may also have Saturn placements in his chart or some Saturn that's being let off by some shit that's going on. Jupiter is going to be trining um, Saturn and it's its ruling planet because it's in Aries. Wheel of Fortune. He's thinking about re-spinning the wheel here, turning something around. With this great expectation in the store, he has a plan here some sort or another here that he's dreaming about. Seven of Wands blocking. He's blocking. Like, I'm being blocked from this. I am literally going to have to stop this story because I'm literally being blocked from this story. And I didn't ask for this story. <laughs> I asked for whatever story they wanted to give me. What is this fox and the small child? I feel like something with the red tape is ending. Or something. There's some ending, or there's some 
ending. There's something in the tower. Ace of Swords in reverse. Mistruth. I mean, obviously, there's deception around here. I mean, I already said I got secrets, which is why this shit down here happened. Um, Ten of Cups. There's a block and a lie about what true happiness is. He's not telling anyone. A small child and the fox. Use the swords in the, in the reverse and the ten of cups in the upright. What is this? Princess of Pentacles. There's that damn Princess of Pentacles again. If there is a child, there might be a child that was born in January or is a Virgo or is a Taurus. If there is like some, some weird pregnancy deal. Because to have the fox with a child is very, very weird. Um, that's why I think it's not. And with the great expectation, it looks like it's not either. And with the other things I got, it looks like it's not. But um, maybe news or carrying something forth. Reinvestment in a project. A why is the, um, and didn't I get another other blocker card? I got the seven of ones up here again. Block. Another blocker card. Um, let me ask on this good lady. Let me go over here. Something funky. Hi. How are you? You good? She has like the most beautiful green eyes. They have um, like a spot of blue in them. But you have to be at the right angle to see it in the light. It's like around the rim and inside. It's very different. She also has a very different face. Anyway. I picked her because she was sweet and purred, not because of her face or her eyes, but they are very cool. All right, what's the, um, let's get your claws out of my back. Where's the, um, let, the, let me ask over here. Tesla. Give me the, um, give me this dream. What's this, the universe? He's dreaming about an ending, a new cycle beginning here. Give me on this lady. Let's pull on her. Grace, give me about this lady. Tell me about this lady here and it, she's in his future there's some lady here in his future give me this lady she's marked by grace what's this about tell me about this lady and this grace the hierophant holy shit queen of wands she's like in on that inside right now she's like um reclusive right now what is this? Queen of Swords. She has fire and she has fire and air in her chart. What is this? Queen of Cups. Holy shit. Well, she's an Empress. I mean, we can go ahead and say she's an Empress. The Empress already popped down here. <laughs> Temperance. She's got Sag in her chart. Maybe some Taurus. Or this Hierophant has to do with this Grace. Something that happened here, this lady's acted with a lot of grace about. Something here was real fucking shitty. And she's the magician, the nine of cups, the princess of wands, the chariot. Holy shit. She like was moving on towards a victory or something here. Or something about the way she handled whatever's gone on or something in her life is very graceful. Even though she's witty, loving, psychic, sexy. <laughs> See, who do I not have out yet? The Queen of Wands? No. The, um, who am I missing? Who am I missing? I'm missing the Queen of Pentacles. Did I drop her already down here? She tried to pop out over here. Two of Swords, Nine of Cups. She's like at a place of indecision or there's a decision to be made about her or she does not know about some of this situation. But she's chasing her own wish fulfillment and she's doing it with grace. 
and something about what happened here she's handled with grace tell me about this dreamer i gotta pull a different deck because i just pulled like four queens on her <laughs> what is this give me this she also is like maybe very spiritual or has like spiritual blessings or protection of one sort or another from a hierophant which this guy could be a hierophant or have Taurus prominent in his chart because a hierophant popped over here or from like God, you know, just like the other side. King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarian energy. What is this dreamer thing about? What is this dreamer thing about? The Ten of Cups. Same thing that popped up there. And the Ten of Pentacles. What is this about? The Two of Swords, the Lovers, and the Eight of Cups. He's dreaming about walking away from whatever change he made or something. He's thinking of a plan. I'm going to stop with this story because I keep getting so many blocker cards that I feel like Spirit gave me this story, but I feel like they don't want to tell me anything about it. Um, all right. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'll, I'm going to pull on the mother. Let's pull on the mother real quick. Let's do that. Let me pull on this mother here. Give me this good lady in the heart. All I can tell you is that whoever this is, who may have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces, and Aquarius in his chart, whatever is going on with him is going to be shaken out or something's going down here around the time of this phase that I did the special series on. <laughs> All right. What is this? Um, tell me about this good lady with the heart. upside down. I just got the Ace of Swords in reverse and the Devil. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just going to keep going here for a second here. He may not be telling her the truth about something or something here. Yeah. Ace of Swords in reverse, Eight of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands in reverse. What the frick? There's something here with his mom. There's something here with his mom. What is this? Why is the Three of Wands here? Maybe he's not telling her the truth about what he's working on. Or he's not going to wait. I don't know. Something here. What is this three of wands? I don't know what secret he has on him. But this guy's got some secret on him. Roared. But there's some plan of action here to take care of it. But something here got messed up. And our dude, I don't know how long, has been stuck in a cycle of grief and sorrow. Because his path got messed up. Or it feels like he doesn't have backing and this guy's got some secret on him because of some bad decision or some trickery here. What is this three of wands in reverse? in reverse he's not going to wait anymore on his options to do with the empress three of wands hierophant in the upright seven of cups in the reverse and the empress in the upright he 
If he's with somebody else, he may not be telling his mother that he's going to leave the other person or something of this sort or something about what's going on at work here or some other woman lied to his mother about something. Whatever it is, he's turned his back on his mother, though he loves his mother, and he's looking forward. So I don't think it's going to interfere with anything. It just looks like a little bit weird here. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Maybe his mother gave him some advice about what to do. Because the heart's here, and that's usually a positive card to pull. So maybe he went to his mother for advice about what to do or something. Maybe that's the only person he can talk to. What is this Seven of Cups? Who is this Empress over here? Well, I mean, obviously the Empress, but I don't need another sign that this is like... Maybe his mother told him what to do. Not to wait. Or not to get involved with something here. What is the Empress here for? He may have, she may have given him some advice. What is the Seven of Cups here for? I think his mother wants to see him committed and happy to an upstanding woman, the Empress, an Empress. Something here. What is the um, what is the Seven of Cups? I feel like something is weird here, or he went to some advice for his mother. I don't. Something here about his options and competition and a Three of Cups and a Magician in the reverse and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. I don't know. Maybe she like has a lot of sway over him. She doesn't want him single. She doesn't want him single for sure. That's for sure. Or something. But... She may have not told him about something that he found out about or something. Or she may have given him advice. I don't know. I don't know. What's going to happen? Let me ask that. What's going to happen? What's the end result going to be for this main male after this plan? <laughs> Whatever he's... Whatever's cooking up that I've got like every blocker card in the world on. All I can tell you is that this girl over here has got protection. And there's like so many blockers. Oh my god. healing from morning. There's going to be a healing from the morning. All right. Anyway, there's, um, he's got a plan. He's got a little anxiety written about his plan. He's tapping into intuition and temperance. Pisces and Jupiter are of significance. Sagittarius, possibly Capricorn and Aquarius, Virgo. What else? An Empress over here. Holy shit. Okay. It looks like it's going to end up well. He's a little anxiety ridden. That's to be expected like every other reading I did about this massive transit. But Spirit, though they gave me this story, won't let me get into these um, secrets. They've given me every blocker card imaginable. And like that's my sign I shouldn't dig more on something. You know, maybe for a cross watcher. Maybe because of a cross watcher. Could be. Okay. All right. That's it.
guys. Um, I will see you later. I'm going to be posting tomorrow some, or filming tomorrow, um, some, maybe some partner love check-ins. I haven't done that style yet on here, but I may with like a side for each if you guys would like that. All right. And I'll try and do another tutelary tail within the next day or two. Okay. Um, have a wonderful evening. I'll see you later.